hi and welcome back to sinister waffles today we are going to be painting on gnome so this is the gnome that i painted um, and this is the gnome that sinister aurora will be customizing and her product will be showing at the end of the video she, you should totally subscribe to it if you're not already she's a gaming channel my concept for this was like an ice cream cone gnome i had a lot of ideas the main one was like fruit and then i was like you know what but the hat looks like a cone and then i actually ended up switching around um, and so that's the ice cream. His beard is the whipped cream and his jacket is the cone. My palette got really gross and it would only be painted for like a little bit and so yeah. Um, I used a Sharpie to kind of sketch on what I wanted and then I honestly really didn't use the green paint but I mean it's just I have all these huge things from like a birthday party so I just use them all the time. They're really paint. amazing. Um, it's a lot cheaper to buy art supplies in bulk for sure. Um, and then I ended up changing the chocolate and white swirl to a whatchamacallit? Um, oh, um, cotton candy. Because, and you know, so it's like the white will eventually turn into pink. And it was a lot of fun to play with depth. So darker and lighter colors of highlights and stuff. And this is me mixing some paint. So I'll let you enjoy that. Oh yeah, that's a nice glob. I painted a base and then I went over with two different colors for the stripes across the jacket to give it that ice cream waffly look. And then just painted the swirl around it. Beard will just be white because like kind of like the whipped cream and I was going to put sprinkles on it but then I was like, mm -hmm. And then here's some more paint footage because I felt it was very necessary for you all to see me play with some paint. And then I actually did use that red paint um, to do darker spots on the pink of the hat. Got some snazzy shots. I'm working on the shoes. I took a lot of time working on that. I fixed it up a little bit, but I really like it. Also, I forgot to mention the whole thing is like this avocado y texture, except for the beard. And <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'm going to paint the face, which is it's not that bad actually so yeah and then here's some more paint you gotta play with that paint that shiny beautiful paint oh apparently i don't play with it but those colors look different but it's just my lighting's really bad and the hands were not really fun to paint around but i ended up painting the face here's some footage of me painting this beard white. It's very engaging. Oh, and then this is boots. This is me showing you what I meant by the boots being different colors and stuff. Oh, and these pens are called acrylic painters. Um, come in tons of different colors. I love them. They're in a 0.7 millimeter tip. They're really fine. They're like kind of like Posca pens, but not. Um, I, I have some Posca pens. Those are better for doing large areas versus those details. Also, those eyes are like really creepy and I promise I add pupils in at the end. Oh, and here is the final product. I think it turned out really cute. Overall, I really love the design and idea and concept. It was really fun to play with depth. I'm glad I did not add sprinkles to the whipped cream beard. <laughs> so yeah, this has been really fun. And then here is Sinister Aurora's gnome. It's a watermelon. It's really cute. So yeah, you should totally go subscribe to her and um, waffles out.